Welcome to the Carp Channel for noobs made by noobs. In this video, I'm going to give you five top tips that are going to help you when you're racing with your kids. Tip number five, race suit. Be careful what you buy in a race suit, they all have different qualities. Ashton, on with the race suit. Okay. You can spend a lot of money in a race suit or you can spend a little money in a race suit. They all have the advantages of... They all have their advantages and disadvantages in several ways. In a way, as per usual, you get what you pay for. Have you got it on yet? So Ashton's going to put on a really good example of a race suit which is value for money. Now, it's great, but... As you can see, Ashton put it on and it's a really good race suit for summertime. Oh. But so Wolf Sport are really affordable, decent kind of race suit. They do funky colours, they do camouflages, they do all sorts, but they're quite thin. So if you're racing outside in the winter time, they're not the best in cold conditions. So if you want something warmer to go outside, then go to OMP. If your son and daughter is slim, then what you'll find is they look elegant on the slimmer person. If you want something with a bit more space in it, Sparkos tend to have a little more given them. So if you've got a bit more belly room in there, and OMP also are covered by the FIA regulations. It's a race proven suit. Massive price difference, OMP is going to cost you in the region of £160, whilst a Wolf one you can get for about £40 odd pounds. Number four, wetsuits. You probably won't use them very often, but when it's raining, my gosh, do you need them. Yeah, wetsuits aren't something you use very often, but when we do need them, you really do need them. You'll get absolutely soaked and drenched if there's even a small amount of rain coming down. It might well be you buy them and the kids will outgrow them before you use them. But if you haven't got them, then it might well be that your kid's going on and have to come off the track because they're too cold. Number three, crash helmets. Probably one of the first things you'll buy for one of your children. They all want their own crash helmets. And let's face it, you put a crash helmet on, you want it to be your own. So a good option for your first crash helmet is going to be something like Uber. Uber are cheap, you can pick them up for 30 to 40 pounds and they're not covered by any racing regulations, but your son and daughter will feel a lot more comfortable and they'll feel like us at their own. You feel like a million dollars, don't you Ashton? Oh yeah. The next crash helmets up can be either an OMP or a Sparco. These are covered by the FIA race regulations and they're not that more expensive. You can pick these up from Demon Tweaks and if you go to one of the trade shows where they'll be at, they may well be offering 10% off. Ashton's wearing the OMP one, which costs us £68. Number two. Number two. This is a really important one. If you are racing outdoors, we made this mistake, we never did it again. Gloves. Go to an outdoor track, they will give you gloves, but they will not be very warm. You can go to track and it can be around minus conditions. If you're racing in a go-kart, it goes further down. If your son or daughter goes on the track without warm gloves, they will be in after three or four laps because they cannot put up with the gloves. You'll pay more buying them at track on the day at your track. So it's good to go online and look what else is available. On the other hand, you can buy other gloves which are great for the summertime, which help you breathe more. Now the gloves that we found to be one of the best, Sparkos, all weather. The only problem is they don't smell very nice. That's pretty much it. So you have to keep washing them. These are moleskin, so they're 100% waterproof. And you've also got OMPs, which are similar. We do find the Sparkos tend to wear a bit better. They're both similarly priced. You can pick these up for 30 to 40 pounds. These are what you should be buying first if you are racing outdoor. So our final tip, number one, don't go out and spend loads of money on loads of gear or a cart straight away. Because there's a strong possibility that your son and daughter who loves karting, who wants to do it forever and ever, will turn around and say, I don't want to do it anymore. 
So you have all the gear, spent all that money, and you don't want to do it anymore. So simple little tips you can do before you get too involved in it, you buy the cheaper crash helmet. Shoes, you can buy Lonsdale shoes that look like racing shoes. You can buy Lonsdale shoes and they look like proper racing shoes and you'll get them at a fraction of the cost. If you buy a proper pair of racing shoes, they can cost you in excess of £65. We made the mistake of buying suede, looks absolutely fantastic, but from a mother's point of view, I might get in trouble for that, Ashton. From a mother's point of view, they don't clean up very easily. So you might want to look at other options. What you also might consider is, is going to the best place to buy gear from, if you don't want to spend any money, eBay. All those people that want to do karting might suddenly decide, I don't want to do karting anymore, and they'll have oh, the gear Dad, to sell. This is hot. <laughs> Wait, the race suit Ashton is wearing is a £160 race suit. We got it off eBay, and you are putting trust in people, but it said almost new. So we bought it, we paid £50 for it, and I can tell you, you can't even tell it's not new. That's a £160 race suit for £50. So you can always look at buying second-hand stuff, whether it be gloves, shoes, race suits, anything along the lines that you will save money on. So those are our top five tips for noobs from the noobs.